Big win tonight to start the series over Grand Prairie. You guys led for most of the game. It got a little bit closer late, but overall, a well-played ball game by the team. Very well, and uh, they played a good ball game too. Um, yeah, you look at our scoreboard, I mean, it was a total team effort again. I mean, those are the best kind to get. Big zero up in the air column. Um, you know, bullpen came in, did a great job, and you know, our hitters are always going to give you a chance to win, and that's what they did. So, it would be a great job by Colt today, and Lowe, and Jake, and everybody. I mean, it was a team win, and it was good to get. We've talked about it a little bit last time, your guy who pounds the strike zone. You're not necessarily relying on a strikeout, but both times against Grand Prairie, you've struck out the most batters you have this season. Tonight it was nine, season high. What is it about the Grand Prairie lineup that allows you to, to rack up the strikeouts? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was just uh, you know one of those nights. There's nothing in particular. Um, honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. It's just uh, you know one of those nights, and uh, like I said, just good to get a win. I mean, how, however you do it, it's good to get one. So. I was going to ask you, how much fun is it to watch Carlo Testa make sliding catches, and why does nobody ever check on the wall instead of Carlo Testa? Well, it's a lot of fun. Uh, honestly, we've gotten almost a bit too used to it because he's always making great plays out there. Um, yeah, that wall's been wearing him out, especially those last couple games. So, uh, But, hey, you can just keep on doing it, and, you know, we definitely appreciate it as a pitching staff, that's for sure. Before I let you go, Tim, again, anybody you want to say hi to back home? Uh, last time I said hi to my Australian family out there, Another Australian uh, family out there, the Tibbo tribe. So, I want to say hi to them if they're watching. All right, you didn't begin the year here in Wichita, but you're back now and you seem to be enjoying yourself. Right, well, yeah, it's great. It's great being here, great playing for these uh, coaches, great playing for this team. It's just all around great club. You've been at third base when you first came back, and now you've played a majority of the time at first base. Is there a side you prefer, or whatever you got to do? No, not at all. Like last year, I came in as a utility player, played, a, played around everywhere. Uh, it's great. Uh, I like I like playing uh, all different positions, but first I'm really comfortable at it. Uh, you're hitting in the eight spot tonight, but you tie the game with a home run, yep. solo home run, your first of the year. The depth of this lineup, one through nine, is pretty outstanding. Yeah, it's a great lineup, one through nine, uh, as well as the pitching staff like tonight. Tim Brown, great job. Um, but yeah, eight, eight hole, uh, just do my job as an eight hole hitter. Seen a ball elevated a little bit. It's a change up. Uh, he left up, and I uh, got good wood on it. I was going to talk to you about Brown as a defensive player. How much fun is it behind a guy who works quick and throws a lot of strikes? Right, yeah, he gets the game over with quick. Uh, he gets through his winds up, uh, gets some pitches uh, quickly, and uh, it's easy to play defense for him when he's striking everybody out. One more question for you, Cole. I've been asking everybody, how much fun is it to watch Carlo make diving catches into the wall he every night? He does it every day, it seems like. He did it in Kansas City, running into the, uh, the uh, brick wall, concrete wall. Did it tonight to end the game. Great, great catch, great catch. Good, good player. Let's start this by, I heard it was your birthday tomorrow. You're not feeling too old yet, are you? Nope. Getting close to that 30. But yeah, I turned 29. I mean, guys have been giving me crap all week. My girlfriend showed up to spend it with me, but everybody's giving me, like, the 40 and older talk already. That's, yeah, 30's a big milestone for me. <laughs> A uh, big win tonight against a division rival in Grand Prairie. You had three RBI, but the offense as a whole been contributing of late. I mean, we just got to stick to it. You know, I mean, there's going to be times we struggle. Other guys are going to hit. But I think our situ situational hitting needs to, to step up. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the other night we had, I don't know, 12 hits and two runs. And they had six runs on two hits, you know? Yep. I mean, it's just that's that's the key to this game. Not get, you know, getting the hits when we need them. And, and tonight it, it worked out that way. So we just got to keep rolling with that. How much fun is Tim Brown to play defense behind as quick as he works and as much as he pounds the zone? It's always nice the guy throwing strikes. He's not afraid to throw it in there and, and make things happen. I mean, that's that's the beauty about him, sinker ball guy. We expect a lot of balls in play. And, and I mean, he works, he, he knows what he wants to do. He's not looking for the strikeouts. He's looking for hitting his spots and getting the ball in play. And another aspect of the defense, how much fun is it to watch Carlo Testa run around, run into walls, and make sliding catches? He's crazy. He's like a big guy that, he doesn't look fast, but he is, you know? And I love the fact that he goes all out. I mean, we got, We've got a lot of guys that will go all out on this team. Amberson's another guy. I mean, wait until that guy crashes in the wall. I mean, those guys on the corner are going to catch a lot of balls. All right, thanks for your time, Jake. Anybody you want to say hi to before we let you go? I know all my family back home. They're going to be texting me tomorrow saying I'm old. So don't text me that. I'm still in my 20s. And I uh, appreciate it. It's my girlfriend coming out and celebrating with me.